Oh, am I glad to see you guys. I went camping two weeks ago and I've been lost ever since. I've been walking non-stop. I have no idea where I am, but I'm tired. I'm down to my last food ration. Luckily, I still have my Magnolink tab at least, but I really need to get out of here. I stumbled across this strange pyramid. I, I don't know what it is, but I'm hoping Corey is gonna be able to recognize it. So I'm gonna take a picture, I'm gonna email it to Corey and pray that he can come and save me. Here we go. Hi all, welcome back to another Tech Connect. Luke's not with us today. If you saw our last video, he was enjoying a little camping, although enjoying might not be the word I would use. It didn't seem like it was going well. To be honest, I'm a little nervous he has not been back to work all week, so he's not with us today, but we wish him best and uh, we just need to keep soldiering on. So today we are looking at the Be My Eyes app, but we're looking at it specifically for Windows platform. So we've done a lot already with Be My Eyes on iOS and Android, but they've now released a version for Windows and that's what we'll be taking a look at today. As I mentioned, it is a Windows app, which means we're gonna need to use the Microsoft Store to go and download Be My Eyes. So you're gonna wanna make sure you have that Microsoft account, you're logged into the Store app. Go ahead and use the search function, find it, download it. It is free, so there's really no reason you shouldn't go and get it on your machine. Once you've downloaded and installed the app, you're gonna see that there's really kind of four main functions. Today, we're really gonna be looking at three because you're gonna see that a lot of them are kind of the same. It's all about having a image or picture described to you. So we have the ability to have our current screen. So what's currently on the computer screen described to us. We have the ability to use the integrated camera. So if you've got a laptop with an integrated camera or maybe you have a webcam connected, you can use that to take a picture and have it described to you. You can also have a picture that's already on your computer via File Explorer described to you. Or last, if you've got an image on your clipboard, you can have that described to you. Let's take a look at describe our screen. And, oh, got oh, we got an email. Let's see if it's from Luke, maybe telling us why he's not at work here. Emails from Luke Ballard at visionforward.org outlook, list box, unread, attachment, Luke Scriven, help, I'm lost. Ah, it is from Luke, and as I thought he's lost, let's take a look. Maybe he gave us an image here? Corey, I've been lost in the jungle since the last video. This is the last time I go camping. Check the attached picture. You have to find out where I am and save me. Now, I find it interesting that he had enough internet to send us an image and an email and didn't call for help, but let's take a look at the image and we'll see if we can get Be My Eyes to figure out where he is. 41461501013 link. Attachments. I'm lost.jp. Enter. Photos. We've opened up the photos simply in our Photos app. Now we're gonna use the keyboard shortcut, Control Alt H, and that's gonna allow Be My Eyes to explain our computer screen. And since the photo's up, that's what it's gonna describe to us. Alt Control H. Be my eyes, be my AI tab, one of two, question trust the AI edit. Please wait, be my AI's writing a message dot dot dot. The image shows a large, ancient pyramid structure with a staircase leading to the top. The sky is mostly clear with a few clouds. All right, so we got a little bit of information. It said that it appears to be a large ancient pyramid with a staircase, but to be honest, that's not enough for me to figure out where he is. But if you're familiar with Be My AI on the iOS and Android app, you know that we have the ability to ask a follow-up question. So maybe we can say, where is this? And let's see if it'll give us some information. Back button, question to ask the AI editor. So let's type in. Where is this? Enter, message. And we'll wait for our message back. The structure in the image is the Pyramid of Kukulkan, also known as El Castillo, located in the ancient Mayan city of Chichen Itza in Mexico. It is one of the most famous and well-preserved pyramids from the Mayan civilization. Somehow he's in Chichen Itza, Mexico, which is a long way away. I have no idea. He really must have gotten lost and has been hiking for days. Uh, must be hiking pretty fast too, but we now know where he is. Let's see if we can keep using Be My Eyes 
to help get him saved. All right, so we know where Luke is, but now we got to keep using Be My Eyes to see if we can save him. And the only way I know how to do it is by buying a helicopter and flying down to Mexico to save him. Now, luckily, I planned for this. I knew someday he would get himself lost. So I've had helicopter prices stored on the computer just in case of this emergency. The problem is that it's a JPEG, it's a picture. So we are going to use one of the other features of Be My uh, Eyes, and that is choosing an image on your computer via File Explorer and have it described to us. And hopefully it can read us some options on copter prices. So we are in the Be My Eyes app now. I'm gonna simply tab over to the option we're looking for. Take picture using built-in cap. Describe picture from File Explorer shortcut control plus alt plus K button. And that's what we want. We also hear that there is a keyboard shortcut, but we'll go ahead and just hit enter. Enter, be my AI tab, one of two, file name. It's opened up a simple dialog box here and let's go look for our copter prices. Explorer pane, vision forward association, chopper prices JPEG. There it is. Enter. Be my AI tab, one of two. Please wait, be my AI is writing a message dot dot dot. Question to ask the AI edit. And let's see what it gives us. The image shows a list of helicopters for sale, each with details such as the model, price, year, serial number, total time airframe TTAF, and the date the listing was updated. Here are the details for each helicopter. One, Airbus slash Eurocopter EC 135T2 plus, price, $2 million. Okay, so we've got a number of options here. The first option is $2 million. Now, I really enjoy Luke both as a friend and a coworker, but I'm not spending $2 million to find him. So let's use the uh, ask a question and let's ask how much option three is, and maybe that's a little bit more affordable. So we'll make sure that we're in the edit box and we'll say, how much is option three? Three, enter, message sent. Please wait, be my AI is writing a message dot dot dot. Option three, which is the Airbus slash Eurocopter BK 117 B1 from the year 1988, is listed for $595,000. All right, so 1988, that's a 35 year old helicopter, still in great condition. Uh, just under $600,000, which is right in our budget. Uh, Vision Forward has no problem investing $600,000 to go get Luke. So let's go purchase it and head off and save him. Great news, I was able to fly that helicopter like nobody has ever flown a helicopter before. Swooped in, dropped the ladder, saved Luke. He's getting checked out by the doctors right now, both from our little bumpy flight back, but also some of those snake bites and stuff. But he should be here any moment. Corey, there I he am is. here. Thank you so much for coming to rescue me. I, I don't know how I got so lost. That was the craziest camping trip I've ever taken. It was yeah. the only camping trip I've ever taken. I, was, <laughs> it was crazy. I, I kind of recommend maybe it being your last camping trip. But, uh, you know. Definitely, uh, especially because yes. if you hadn't rescued me when you did, I would have been forced to eat my very last food item, Corey. Okay. And you will never guess what I was down to. Ah, I don't have to guess because mm. I can use Be My Eyes and take a picture and find out what it is. No way! So that, <laughs> I am, I'm, I'm so happy how enthused you are. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's hold it up. And again, we're using the integrated camera on my laptop. The image shows a person holding a box of Betty Crocker Super Moist White Cake Mix. The box is predominantly oh, oh, white. Not, white no. and features an image I, of I don't think I could have front. saved you any sooner. The, I can't imagine you having to eat moist cake again. No, I probably should have just uh, left the cake mix there, right? Yeah, can you imagine uh, 100 years from now when mm. some archaeologist is digging underneath <laughs> the pyramid and they come across a Betty Crocker? <laughs> It would really throw them for a loop. Even the Mayans didn't want to eat this Betty Crocker. <laughs> <laughs> so Be My Eyes has been, you know it's been around forever. It's been on the uh, smartphones and now it's on the Windows app. I, I, I like it. I think that for a uh, first version, it's pretty good. You know, I think it's a lot of the features all around the same kind of thing, explaining pictures mm. mostly to you. Although you saw with the helicopter, um, 
uh, uh, sample, that was actually all text and it was still able to read it to us. Although we weren't able to like navigate through that text. I'd love to see it maybe start to incorporate some more almost OCR like features, although that's kind of what it's doing, but mm. being able to navigate through, maybe if you've got an inaccessible PDF, that would really be kind of cool. Mm. Cause right now you're limited to just the pics, just to JPEGs or PNGs. Mm. Um, so all in all, it's free. Why wouldn't you add it to your toolbox? Yeah, I mean, uh, I would love to comment, Corey, but I have no idea what you're talking about because I was lost uh, yeah. in uh, Mexico, apparently, so. Well, and it saved you. So at oh, the yeah. end of the day, yeah. how can I give this app a bad review exactly. when you are sitting back with us? 10 out of 10, best app ever. <laughs> Go download right now. <laughs> exactly. All right, so if you've used Be My Eyes uh, both on the Windows side or if you've used it uh, on Android, iOS, please put it down in the comments. Mm. Let us know what are your big use cases. Maybe give us your top three reasons or three ways that you like to use Be My Eyes. Um, if you've been to Chichen Itza, then please put in the comments whether you enjoyed it, what your favorite temple was, and uh, whether you happened to see me looking lost yeah. while you were there. Have you ever eaten moist cake in Mexico? Oh, I certainly hope not. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we've got a number of different things that you can keep track of what we're doing. Uh, we've got a, a learning management platform, which is really fancy for just a website you can go to to get more content. Webinars with free ACVREP credits. You can head over to TechConnect dot vision dash forward dot org mm. and you're going to be able to get all of that information and uh, don't forget we have a live show that's right you can catch Corey and I live every two weeks um, so we recently did an episode with let's see uh, Glidance Amos Miller from Glidance yeah that was a really good one yeah so that was a few weeks back and uh, he was telling us all about the glide mobility so uh, if you want to check out the live show then all you have to do Corey is go to youtube.com forward slash vision forward tech connect did you know that i did and guess mm. what so did they because that's where they are right now oh yeah good point so you're probably watching this video right there so uh, <laughs> head to our home page of our channel and you'll be able to check out those live shows they are on thursdays every two weeks and uh, they are at 11 a.m central corey did you know if you prefer to not see us and listen to it mm. instead we do have a podcast versions of those tech connect lives in your favorite podcast app just search for Vision Forward Tech Connect. You'll find our podcast. We always post those right after our live video show. So go ahead and check those out. Indeed, and with that, I think we'll wrap up the video. Uh, Corey, it's been quite a long, uh, a long day yeah. here. Uh, do you want to kind of kick back and relax and go camping? Nope, but I can't wait for you to be back to work on Monday and start <laughs> working again. All Stay right. tuned out.